Uh, so today we had our guest Yadu Krishnan. Engineer. He's working as a design and verification engineer in one of the leading MNC. Uh, he will be sharing his insight, how he got the job, and what are the skills that required for the jobs, and uh, what are the things you need to care of to get a dream job in a VRS sector. So let's start. And uh, so hi Yadu, how are you? Uh, hi Ajay. Uh, yeah, I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah. I'm- I'm also absolutely great. Please introduce yourself to our audience so that they will get to know more about you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, as you know, my name is Sethu Krishnan. And uh, right now I'm just working on one of the reputed company called Sari Morphic. So it's basically, it's a US-based company and uh, the working location is Hyderabad. So I'm working as an, a digital verification engineer in that company. And uh, I have done both my... B.Tech and M.Tech from Amrita University, Kerala. And later, I had a chance to do one year internship in uh, another uh, VLSI company called AMS Semiconductors. And later, I just moved to uh, Geo, Reliance Geo. And right now, I am here in this particular company. That is great, man. You have worked for three different companies and three different multinational companies. So you have yeah, been a right, great experience right. in these three companies so like uh, talking about your first company where you have done your internship so yeah like, how you got that yeah basically uh, that was through my college only like uh, it, it wasn't just an internship experience and uh, even though we were into internship ex- internship like uh, we we were working in the real-time project and samsung was the one of the clients so we were working for samsung and uh, uh, yeah, we were into the real project. Basically, I have received that offer from our college. Like, uh, yeah, uh, from the, through college only, I just got that opportunity. Okay. And later, I just moved to Reliance Geo, but that was in the into FPGA domain. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. So, like uh, uh, at the time of college, you got the internship, and uh, so what are yeah, the during my M Tech basically? Okay, during, the during my M Tech. Yeah. So even even after completing my B Tech, I I had I had two offers in my hand, but both of mm-hmm. them were into IT field. So my aim is to uh, to wish to work. I mean, I wish to work in the VLSI domain itself, in my core domain, because we all have taken um, electronics and communication or electro electrical and electronics, right? So. Mm-hmm. So since we have uh, we have taken this stream, I mean, what I thought is I need to work in that field itself, in electronics itself. I need to work. So during my third year, uh, third year of B Tech, so one of my seniors has uh, came to my college and he had he just had a he just gave a speech, mm-hmm. and uh, so he at that time he was working uh, uh, synopsis. So you might be knowing that company. So he was working in a design engineer, RTL design and he, he has explained like uh, what all are things uh, are there in this industry and how this industry will be uh, working. All these things he just explained. So till that point, till third year, we didn't have any idea regarding this industry. So once I had this, uh, once I heard this speech, then only we just came to know, uh, okay, there is one industry called VLSI industry and uh, uh, these, are, these are the things ha- are happening there. So I thought like I need to work in this particular industry itself. So that is the one, that is the only one reason why I have chosen to uh, go for higher studies and get more knowledge in that particular field in VLSI itself. So uh, just after, even though after uh, having two offers, I just uh, rejected that thing and I directly joined for masters. So as a part of that thing, I just got another internship opportunity in this field itself. Yeah. Great. So you have done masters in uh, communication, Mm -hmm. like VLSI, right? VLSI design. Yeah. It's in VLSI design itself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like uh, getting into the VLSI field is very hard, right? So what are the skill set and what are the things required to get into the VLSI field? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking is uh, like it's, uh, I mean, it's not like 
what all are things you uh, you know like i mean you need mm-hmm. to know all the things it's not like that because the electronics industry or vlsa industry itself is a huge ocean we can tell so it's not i mean it, it's not required that we need, we need we need to know each and everything in the vlsa industry it's not like that so even though whatever you need i mean whatever you know but uh, that has to be thoroughly uh, understood basically so uh, if i'm telling uh, the basic things are digital design uh, if you want to work in uh, vlsa design and that also basically i am from the digital background so if you wish to work in the digital side then obviously you need to know the digital design basics then the digital electronics then uh, uh, system verilog verilog is a must and then system verilog and obviously uvm is a plus so if you know uvm and all then it's a plus always and uh, if you know any of the language uh, not language protocols just like uh, i2c spi or uh, amba so these kind of things so if, if you know all these things then that is also a plus actually it's an add on to your uh, it will just increase your value basically yeah oh yeah that, that's great things you have told and uh, the things yeah, we, like this the case... thing is that yeah mm-hmm. yeah no one will be knowing an entire things i mean everything right because like mm-hmm. so what i'm telling is whatever you know that is sufficient but you just learn that thing in uh, in depth so mm-hmm. that's much more enough and uh, whatever you are doing your projects at your uh, college level uh, in both btech level or mtech level or whatever you are doing uh, some projects at curriculum level that needs to be thoroughly done actually or you have to be much more uh, confident with your projects because you should have some involvement in, in that thing so i think uh, m- most of the companies will be looking for that kind of approach only mm-hmm. so yes, whoever sir. whoever is enthusiastic about their projects and all these uh, companies are requiring or companies are uh, yeah searching for that kind of people basically mm mm-hmm. yes absolutely projects are very important and especially the final year exactly, projects right, yeah. which we do Yeah, because right. company will ask exactly. you at the time of interview, uh, like uh, about your projects and whatever you have done in your exactly. college, right? Right. Okay, so yeah, mostly uh, that will be the first question. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, what was your project? Uh, you're asking me in B Tech level Define. or M Tech level? So, like M Tech yeah. level. Yeah, M Tech level. Uh, yeah, basically, I was doing the internship, right? So at mm-hmm. that time, whatever we were doing in the uh, uh, company level, so I was doing a sub. portion of mm-hmm. that thing i was dedicating that to corporate age level so uh, that one was a uh, system level verification of optical sensors using system level basically like we were working for optical sensors like uh, so i was working in the one of the company called ams semiconductors in hyderabad mm-hmm. only so basically we were developing some kind of um, sensors proximity sensor and some other uh, sensors so basically that kind of optical sensors we need to verify that rtl we need to verify and uh, so i was doing the uh, system level verification of that optical sensors by using system verilog so that was my college level project i mean mtech level project correct okay, yeah. correct okay so after getting into the internship then how you did you apply for the geo and after this this company in which you are working <clears throat> uh yeah um, yeah after completing my uh, that internship or parallelly i was just looking for this uh, some other opportunities as well and mm-hmm. uh, i just want to try the fpga field as well so mm-hmm. i be, like as like we we were i mean we don't know completely what is what is fpga what is the difference between F- fpga and this vlsi right so i just mm-hmm. had a thought to uh, experience that thing as well so uh, so from there from uh, that company itself i was just trying for another opportunity and uh, in that thing from there i just got this op- uh, opportunity from reliance geo and mm-hmm. uh, that was basically it was a, just a, like a fpga developer and we were completely working towards fpga and uh, but like again that is also somewhat similar to vlsi thing only but mm. uh, it's on chip it's already reprogrammable right mm. so uh, yeah then then I, i just switch back to this company again vlsi i'm switch, switch back to vlsi domain itself right now so many student had a doubt they they go for the fpg verification mm-hmm. what is the difference between fpg verification yeah. and the verification we do we do in very log or system very log okay yeah so uh, basically uh, it will be the same thing only but uh, if you if you are considering the fpga verification 
then uh, like we will be in including more uh, gui kind of thing we will be including like there are some specific tools for fpga things and uh, so whatever we are having that uh, ip that we will be uh, creating as some bit streams and that we will be burning into uh, the fpga and from there we will be doing the verification so either it could be uh, through uh, some stimulus i mean that is an on board so on chip we could say so it's already the chip is available and we will just burn the chip according to our program that's how we will be load, loading the fpga and that chip we will be verifying that is a fpga verification and coming to our rtl verification there we will be having that only the rtl and that rtl will be connected through uh, some ports so whatever the input output ports we will be connecting that to uvm environment or a system log environment and from there we will be uh, uh, passing the stimulus and that's how we used to verify that thing yeah okay. so that's a major difference so one is on chip and the other one is it's off chip basically off chip yes absolutely yeah. right so uh, talking about the growth in terms of the uh, vlsi that verification engineer which we are doing through the uh, system verilog or uvm and all and in terms of uh, the fpga verification design in terms of growth uh, what is the growth opportunity in these two different fields i mean again i think it's a personal question like how much ever you can learn that's up to mm. you like uh, both the industries are vast so mm. uh, whether you want to learn that thing or not it's up to you like it's it's personal question i, I would say uh, okay. yeah but in in vlsi industry itself like i i like vlsi industry much more uh, than fpj industry so from there in vlsi industry i have learned a lot of things even from fpg also i learned some some other things like we were uh, we were working with geo right so mm -hmm. uh, it was more related to communication field as well so mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's all interconnected basically so and the growth opportunity is also it's personal i would say yeah yeah so how, what do you think that uh, what will be the future technology in terms of vlsi do you have any uh, idea related uh, to this any anyway yeah even the indian government is also promoting this kind of vlsi industry as well, right yeah. so they are having a huge uh, what deposit for uh, this vlsi industry and uh, the government is also supporting this kind of industries because we don't have as of now i mean according to my knowledge there is no fabrication labs in india yes so if, in, if even if you are making some chips or something then we need to fabricate that thing uh, abroad from abroad yeah. and again that needs to be bring up back and uh, can do the testing here that's how we used to do so uh, i think the government is also supporting this industry much more so there will uh -huh. be plenty of opportunities in this field like um, many more companies will be coming to india and uh, there's a opportunity i mean there will be probability to get much more job opportunities in this uh, field that's what i i think yeah even even like the future will be machine learning artificial intelligence that things are also getting clubbed with this vlsi industry so it's becoming vast yeah that's what so the opportunities will be much more i would say yeah yeah means government is promoting right now the semiconductor industry so they have uh, released the pls scheme for the semiconductor industry right. so that the mm. big companies like intel and they can exactly. uh, start manufacturing in india so yeah right. maybe like after 5 year we can see some uh, made in india chip exactly we we, we are hoping yeah, right, right, right. that yeah so talking about the growth and all everything let's call up this everything and now this last part of the session is that uh, like uh, what message would you like to give to your uh, juniors who had a dream to get into the vlsi industry mm -hmm. yeah yeah first thing i would say is like uh, just fix your aim like uh, whether you want to come to vlsi industry or some other industry that you just need to fix if it is vlsi industry then again there itself many opportunities are there analog side is there digital side is there layout is there uh, physical design is there front and back and all these things are there so there you just need uh, just get a uh, clarification on that thing and just fix your goal like okay i want to become a digital verification engineer so if you wish to work as a digital verification engineer then work accordingly then you need to thorough i mean you need to be uh, thorough with your basic digital skills as i told earlier basic digital skills and uh, very log system log and uvm and also this kind of uh, protocols 
then uh, if you know some script and language obviously that's a it's an add on it's a plus actually like uh, most of the companies will be working it on basis of uh, linux based systems so if you know the scripting language and all uh, shell scripting and all then it's uh, one of the best thing and uh, what i'm telling is like uh, whatever you know that i mean you need to be thorough with your project and uh, the basics that's what i would say yeah then yeah that's what i that's what my message to them i'm i'm hoping like there will be many more uh, uh, freshers in uh, this yeah in this vlc industry and uh, it will be amazing yeah so obviously we can expect we can expect this kind of uh, things like uh, a, a better experience we can see like uh, now itself your your battery has i mean it's about to die right and uh, probably we will be working more towards low power chips and that kind of thing so which will uh, reduce the power energy power energy consumption and all so like again uh, so the thing is that like if you are working in the vlsi industry you will be working on the technology which will be used by everyone so mm-hmm. wherever you take there will be some electronics equipments and uh, there will be some el- electronics engineer working behind that mm-hmm. for sure so you can just proudly tell that okay uh, i have made this chip and this product consist of my chip i have been working on that particular product like that i, I mean you can proudly say that thing because yes. it's an experience like uh, it's a that industry is too good yes. yeah. absolutely right like uh, nowadays we are all uh, using the electronics gadgets like that is phone, exactly. smartphone laptop right. or your smartwatch mm. or anything so right everything required a chip and uh, right. uh, and that chip is made by a vlsi engineer okay correct so, exactly right yeah. so if you really are passionate about these things like chips and all then and want to get into the vlsi industries just go and learn these skills and get into the vlsi industries the opportunities are right. coming so at that note uh, we will in this session and i hope you guys learn so many things from this session and uh, in the coming weeks we will be doing more sessions like this so stay tuned for that yeah uh, thank you adhikrishna yeah. for joining this session and uh, taking your time to talk with me and have a great conversation so that this can help the student so thank you very much for that yeah thank you ajay like uh, thank you for inviting me for this meeting and it was a great meeting i would say so like uh, at least like uh, some some information i can just pass to that uh, the upcoming students i mean upcoming engineers we let's say enthusiastic engineers i would say so yeah thank you thank you for inviting me here so thank you guys for watching so see you in the next session bye bye